Hey there, Lucas here, and today I'm gonna show you how to perfectly animate rolling end credits in cinema grade quality. So in this video, I want to introduce you to you my my little preset that I wrote to to provide it to you, so you can move, uh, do this actually pretty easy to to get very good uh, animations for cinema grade uh, titles. However, at first, I wanted to show you a bit of the problems that we can get when we uh, animate the conventional way. So uh, the the first layer on the right here is animated with the conventional way, with just setting a keyframe from A to B. So just animating the position, and the other one is animated with the preset that I that I did for you. So let's just play this back. And right now we cannot see big problems, but we can see problems down here because we can see that we get half pixel values for from the animation. So this means that. Um, that the, the 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 font does not always render the same because in half pixel values it will be interpolated just a little bit differently and therefore we can get uh, much flicker into our text animation when we play this back this does not look too bad um at at full uh, at 100% however when we play this back um we can amplify this by just watching this at 50% of the of the of the layer, and suddenly we can see the problem very good. So there's a lot of flicker on the right version, while there's nearly no flicker on the left version, but both are crawling at the same speed. And um, this is a pretty thing um, that that you just have to consider, because uh, usually on, on on thicker fonts you won't see this that much. However, um, I I think you should be able to use thin fonts if you like, and also maybe you have some thin logos so um, we just have to do something different something better and this is where my preset comes in so for the demonstration purpose I will just um, fetch a new composition so basically what you want to do is uh, you, you want to set up this composition uh, in the size that the end credits should be in so if you shoot in cinemascope format just bring this in here so I want to do uh, uh, 1080p at 25 frames per second and I want to set the duration to 30 frames per second. Uh, to 30 seconds, I mean, sorry. Um, so basically, as this, as we animate by speed and not by position, um, it can be that you have to make this longer or shorter, depending on how fast you want your titles to be. So let's uh, make this new composition. So we have the 90, 16 by 9 composition. I want to just drag in this little credit block in here, which is a silly demonstrational uh, credit block just for for uh, for showing you this in this uh, tutorial, and um, I want to fetch the the effect now, the preset which is called Credit Mover. It's uh, when you install it in the right direct uh, in the right directory, you have it uh, here in the presets, and we just get Credit Mover and drag it on our clip. And now the position changed a bit, and we have four new effects. So the basic setup is we have two values that we wanted to to change, which is the first is the pixel per frame value, which is basically a slider, and the second is the starting point. So the first one is the pixel per uh, pixel per frame option, which determines how fast this goes. So right now it goes five f uh, pixels per frame, which is a very good value to begin with, and the starting point just has to be dragged out so much that you uh, just hit the edge of the frame. So basically when we hit play now um, we have a perfectly, already perfectly animated uh, title. And what you have to consider is um, is the pixel per frame speed because I um, I um, I checked some films, some blockbusters and their, their end credits and usually all went by fame 5 pixels per frame we, and this is why this is the default value in 1080p at least. So um, you might want to, to change this value depending on how fast or how slow you want your to, to go. Uh, I think there was only one film, I think it was Inception, which went a bit slower at 4 frames, uh, 4 pixels per frame. So basically I would recommend to use a value between 4 and 6. So right now my, my credits are a bit shorter than the comp, so it only goes up to here, so just want to trim this down. Now I have perfectly timed end titles, and the cool thing about about Credit Mover is it works with any composition size. So it's really it it looks at these values, how big the composition is, and it makes the perfect values for your composition. So if it's 5K or if it's 1080P or if it's only SD, it got you covered, and also it, it's dependent uh, independent from the frame rate. So it will always assume that the comp is the frame rate that you have to set uh, if you set in the comp. So it uses this value, and 
Now, this is very important that these uh, settings are correct, but I think that these should be correct in your in your case. Uh, another cool thing is because all is made from effects, we can still get into the normal position values of this layer and still, for example, drag it to the left if we wanted um, to have a little bit of video in the right side of this of this end credit, like some films do. Just uh, as an idea, you can every, uh, do this actually. You can actually still do this. And uh, yeah, this is Credit Mover, uh, a very professional little preset just for professional uh, cinema grade um, animation of end credits uh, done in seconds at your fingertips for free. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching now. I uh, hope this was useful for you and uh, yeah, uh, if you use this preset in any film, please pl please share a link with me. It would be would be cool. And uh, thanks for watching and I hope you see you next time. Bye.